Oh, we have more people coming. Merry Christmas. We're having a plant party. This is a good way if you have to move a garden fast. This looks amazing. And I'm going to look like I'm very smart telling you this, but it's because I have gone willy-nilly in the past and then I had to dig them up and change them. Did you hear? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Hi, one of my least favorite things in life is when life throws you a curveball and you have no choice but to deal with it. So my mom has been living in this apartment for years and this is her garden. And it's a beautiful garden. She has enjoyed it all these years and it goes all the way down because all the ladies in this apartment have built their beautiful gardens on a hill where there was nothing. They, they did this from nothing. So it's absolutely a beautiful community garden. Now we have to move my mom into a new apartment because this garden is on a hill, as you can see. And she would not stay out of it. She, would, she was determined that she would go in this garden and she was falling. Her last fall was very bad. And as a family, we had to make a decision that my mom had to move and she was very upset about leaving her garden. There's always a rainbow if you can find it. Sometimes you've got to search for it, but if you can find it, we have found her a beautiful new apartment with a flat area for the garden. And we are literally moving this garden today to her new place and she is so happy. There's big smiles on her face and at the end of the day, that's all that happens. So take a peek because this is not going to be this garden anymore at the end of the day. We're gonna move it and my mama is gonna take it with her. So it's going pretty good, but you know, as with every plan, you have to have a plan B because as I suspected, some of these plants are just way too big to take out of here. So, you know, because we are still in the month of July, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and go to the local garden center and we're gonna get some there as well. So I'm taking out my mom's favorites that are hard to find that she accumulated over the year, years and the rest, of, the rest of it, we're going to be kind to ourselves and go to the garden center and get some more plants. So, you know, sometimes we think plants are very tender and some of them are, but a lot of them can take a little bit of abuse. So the, the best way I found to deal with this garden, I am leaving the larger plants because when a plant is large and well-established, the chances of it dying during the transition are pretty good. So I concentrated on the small ones and you know, there's always a garden center. So I've taken quite a bit, but I've left the large ones, as you can see, because why try to take them when they're just probably going to die? So if you concentrate on the smaller ones, your chances of success are better because they're, they're not as well established. So all I've done is dug them out with a nice clump of soil around the roots. And now I'm going to take each of these plants, spritz them with some water, put them in plastic bags, transport them over to the new place. It's a lot easier than you would think. So yeah, this is great. So I know it doesn't look pretty, but believe it or not, plastic bags, just clear leaf bags are your best friend. You know, I made sure the roots were wet you cover them with plastic, you put them in plastic bags, they're easy to carry, they're gonna be happy there. Now we're going to plant these right away, which is the most ideal condition because these little roots are gonna be a little bit angry and we're going to plant them right away. But if you ran out of time and you can't plant them right away, just make sure you put some water in the bottom of these bags every day until you can get to them. 
and I wouldn't wait more than a week. So don't start a project if you can't get it done within the week. And make sure if it's really, really hot and sunny, don't forget to put water in these bags. But it looks terrible, but and, and you would think that we're destroying the plants, but they're very hardy and they're going to be easily transport. We can transport them. And I've second guessed my, I was going to ask my cousin Jan to drive down the road and where we're going to go to the garden center, but hello, we can cut these plants in half and fill the gardens and my mom will be happy. So we have taken all the plants that are important to her from family and friends. Away we go. Okay, so I have to say this has turned out really well and I just wanted to share it with you because it's an awesome system. So usually if you're going on a lawn, you would have to actually dig this lawn up because you don't want the lawn coming into your garden and you'll have all kinds of grass and weeds. But on Amazon, and I always try to buy local, but I couldn't find these anywhere. And Amazon had these beautiful galvanized flower beds that you put together very easily. And I know, I know what you're thinking. Sometimes people say, oh, it's easy. You can do it. And then it turns out really hard. But this is actually easy. It's just some screws put together. So all you need is a screwdriver and a cousin called Jam, and we're all good to go. This is a good way if you have to move a garden fast, which we had to do. We had to get my mom from that apartment to this apartment in a week and a half. So I needed something fast. We didn't have time to build wooden flower beds. This looks amazing. So. You take your landscape fabric and you just tuck it inside here and put your soil in and you are ready to plant. Um, this is a mix of all-purpose soil mix along with compost and some manure because your soil is important. So the way you see what's in here, nitrogen, phosphoric acid, potash, organic material, and moisture. So it, you need to really know what's going in your soil because it's important. If you just use straight potting soil and there's no compost and manure, it'll work, but it's not going to be as good. So, you know, this is something fun that happens with gardening is you become a little community. So these ladies here are joining us to build this garden. Hi, ladies. Hi. <laughs> And that's what happens when you get your hands in some dirt. Everybody comes over to see what's going on. So the fastest way with this landscape fabric, we didn't even measure it. We just oversized it. And now we're just gonna tuck it in. When you're looking at speed, it's these little things that count. So oversize it, you don't have to measure, tuck it in. look primitive but they work awesome because we are on in one hot day today of course we're doing all this gardening on the hot, one of the hottest days of the summer but it had to get done so you'll see the steam in the bags which is a good thing because that's keeping the plants moist it's hot if we didn't have the plants in these plastic bags they would already be drying up it's already drying out and it was very moist so plastic bags they don't look professional but they're your best friend and you know I love bone meal one of my favorite things because you need a handful of bone meal in each hole that promotes the root growth so that the plants say okay I like it here so we're gonna put a handful in each hole and uh, that'll promote them. So I have another thing to say because, you know, I always have lots of things to say. Anyways, right ladies? So you can't go willy nilly and start planting these. There has to be, well, you can. And I'm gonna look like I'm very smart telling you this, but it's because I have gone willy nilly in the past and then I had to dig them up and change them. So don't go willy-nilly. 
have some kind of order. So we're going to take these plants out and we're gonna actually put them on top of the soil so that we can see what they're going to look like and then we will plant them, right? Right! Right! Yay. 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 <laughs> of course, I'm gonna put the tall plants in the back and the short ones in the front. And then, and don't forget, plants always have a good side. It's just like us, we have a good side and a bad side. Okay. If you can see this side, it's not a good side. This side is a good side. So they have to be pointing that way. So my mama, or wait a second, no, this is the bad side. This is the good, good side. So that my mama, when she's looking out, can see the good side. Oh, we have more people coming. Merry Christmas. We're having a plant, Happy we're Christmas. having a plant party. So this is the bad oh, side. And this is the good side. So we'll put this side here. So you can see that's going to help you to look at your garden and say, no, I don't like that one there. I'm going to move it. So we will show you in a few minutes our finished, well, sort of finished. We're going to lay them all out and you see what you think. So you can see these three beds have all been laid out and you can kind of get an idea of how the garden is going to look. And now all we're going to do is we can actually dig a hole with our hands because the soil is so soft. Uh, um, a handful of bone meal, put them in there and we're done. So we'll show you the end result. So you can see we did three garden beds today and it went really well. Now you're gonna see they're a little droopy because they're a little bit upset right now that we moved them. But in about a week's time, they're all going to be bushy again and they're going to be happy. Now at this stage, you have to make sure you water these really, really well. And if it keeps hot, keep watering them. And then once they establish in about a week, you can lessen the water. But right now they need a lot of water so those roots will get comfortable and they'll start spreading and growing. So can you believe we moved a whole garden today with very little, it was easy peasy, thanks to my cousin Jan, thanks to Amazon and a screwdriver and some plastic bags, right? So ladies, let's have a hand. So one of my favorite things, you can see how gardens bring people together and bring a lot of joy. So my mama is going to look out her window every day and see the same garden that she had before. So you have a good day. So, yeah. Did you hear her? Yes, I did. <laughs> so this is, keep, this is keeping the, uh, yeah, it's all natural, ladies. <laughs>